A Lisa Guide from Creative Diagnostics Introduction The enzyme-linked immunosorbin assay, is one of the most commonly used labeled immunoassay techniques. It is based on an enzyme-labeled antibody, capable of detecting an antigen immobilized to a solid surface, 96 well or 384 well polystyrene plates. A substrate is added to produce, either a color change, or light signal correlating to the amount of the antigen, which presents in the original sample. Being one of the most sensitive immunoassays, ALISA offers commercial value, in laboratory research, diagnostic of disease biomarkers, and quality control in various industries. ALISA format According to the difference of the antigen immobilizing strategy, the antibody labeling strategy, and the type of antibody antigen reaction, direct recognition or competition, ALISA can be presented in a variety of formats, namely direct ALISA, indirect ALISA, sandwich ALISA, and competitive ALISA. Each has its own advantages and disadvantages. One can choose an optimal ALISA format, flexibly according to the requirements. Direct ALISA This is the simplest form of ALISA. Here, an antigen is attached passively to a plastic solid phase by a period of incubation. After a simple washing step, antigen is detected by the addition of an antibody that is linked covalently to an enzyme. After incubation and washing, the test is developed by the addition of a chromogen or substrate, whereby enzyme activity produces a color change. Color development is red after a defined time or after enzyme activity is stopped by chemical means at a defined time. Indirect ELISA Antigen is passively attached to wells by incubation. After washing, antibodies specific for the antigen are incubated with the antigen. Wells are washed, and all bound antibodies are detected by the addition of anti species antibodies, covalently linked to an enzyme. Such antibodies are specific for the species in which the first antibody added were produced. After incubation and washing, the test is developed and can be read as described. Comparison of direct and indirect ELISA Direct ELISA is quick, only one antibody, and fewer steps are used, and there is no cross-reactivity of secondary antibody. While indirect ELISA is versatile, because many primary antibodies can be made in one species, and the same labeled secondary antibody can be used for detection. Maximum immune reactivity of the primary antibody is retained, because it is not labeled. And sensitivity is increased because each primary antibody contains several epitopes, that can be bound by the labeled secondary antibody, allowing for signal amplification. For disadvantages, the immune reactivity of the primary antibody of direct ELISA, might be adversely affected by labeling with enzymes. In addition, there is no flexibility in choice of primary antibody label, from one experiment to another. And there will be a minimal signal amplification. For indirect ELISA, cross-reactivity might occur with the secondary antibody and an extra incubation step is required in the procedure. Sandwich ELISA The Sandwich ELISA is one of the most useful immunoassay formats, and it is designed for detection of soluble antigens. There are two forms of this ELISA, depending on the number of antibodies used, namely, direct Sandwich ELISA and indirect Sandwich ELISA. These systems are useful when antigens are in a crude form, contaminated with other proteins, or at low concentration. For direct sandwich ELISA, capture antibody is attached on the solid phase. After washing away excess unbound antibody, antigen is added, and is specifically captured. The antigen is then, detected by a second enzyme labeled antibody directly against the antigen. This type of assay is useful, where a single species antiserum is available, and where antigen does not attach well to plates. For indirect sandwich ELISA, the antigen is detected, with the second unlabeled antibody. This antibody is in turn detected using an anti-species enzyme labeled conjugate. It is essential that, the anti-species conjugate does not bind to the capture antibody, therefore, the species in which the capture antibody is produced, must be different. The advantage of this system is that, a single anti-species conjugate can be used, to evaluate the binding of antibodies from any number of samples. Competitive ELISA The systems described above, are the basic configurations of ELISA. 
All of these can be adapted to measure antigens, or antibodies using competitive, or inhibition conditions. Competition elises are particularly useful for measurements of antigen concentration, in complex mixtures when the unknown samples, that may contain antigen are compared to similar samples, that contain known amounts of purified antigen. Each assay described above, requires pre-reaction of reagents to obtain optimal conditions. These optimal conditions are then challenged, either by the addition of antigen, or antibody. As the amount of free antigen, or antibody in solution increases, the amount of antibody, or antigen that will bind to the immobilized substrate, decreases. After washing step, chromophore substrate is added, to generate signal namely color change or light. The signal change caused by challenging with antibody or antigen reveals the information about the competitive antigen, or antibody. Thanks for your view. For more information about ELISA, and its protocol, please visit www.creative-diagnostics.com.